I, I'm the founding pastor of an organization called Shoal Creek Community Church. Shoal Creek is, a, in many ways, a very traditional church. Um, we, we have services at 9.30 and 11 a.m. on Sunday. Just like many churches, same. We have a weekly structure that kind of looks like a church. We don't have a regular uh, evening meeting uh, once a week, um, but we have it once a month. We have a small group structure where we invite people into groups to be a part of um, a growing in their, in their relationship with Christ. And, and on this side, over time, we have come to call this our come side. Because Matthew eleven twenty eight, 28, Jesus says... Come unto me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And so we say the same thing to our community every Sunday at 9, 30, and 11. Here's a place where you can find traction with God. Now, I'm, a lot of people, and I will hand out this uh, afterwards, so you'll listen to me and not read it, but uh, a lot of people are starting to use this concept of a hybrid church. And we, we think of ourselves as a hybrid Everybody know what a hybrid car is? They're not, they're not that popular yet in South Africa, but I think the Toyota Prius is here. And you have an electric engine and a gasoline engine in the very same car. Those two power plants in a car really don't work together. I mean, electricity and gasoline are totally different. Fundamentally, the principles the mechanics it takes to work them, everything is different. Uh, yet they exist in the same car because they serve a larger principle, and that's to move the car along. And so over time, we have used a hybrid car as a model for what we do as church. And so on our come side, which we refer to as our gasoline engine, it's been around a long time. Everyone knows a gasoline engine. There are a lot of people who can work on a gasoline engine. We're very comfortable with putting petrol in a, a hole that exists on the side of a car and allowing it to propel us along. But we are beginning to understand the dangers of petroleum-based movement. Cars pollute our universe. They work on a fuel that could run out on us one day and we wouldn't have any more petrol is uh, you know in your my country it's not near as expensive as it is in your country petrol is woo really expensive here uh, and and it's it's not going to get any less expensive over time it's only going to get more and more so that gasoline engine um, sort of has a a time stamp on it it's going to expire someday and, and we view our come side like that. It is, is simply a, a very traditional and, and, and very trustworthy instrument, but it is becoming less and less effective at reaching people. Now, we have decided to keep our come side going because we are effective. On a Sunday morning, we have 10 brand new families every Sunday that visit Shoal Creek. Five of them tell us of their own accord that they are not Christians. So our typical family is, is a husband and a wife with two children. So that means that we have 20 non-believing people that come to church every Sunday morning. New non-believing people that come to church every Sunday morning. I would venture to say that we are highly unusual.